Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and it's time for another spoiler movie review. This time I will be talking about the movie King Kong in full detail. The original one from 1933. So without further ado, let's get started. The movie begins with two guys having a conversation near a boat. And the captain of said boat tells one of them that he can get on board. In that boat, the people talk about wanting to get a woman on board so she can help them shoot the next movie. Yeah, the people on that boat aren't exactly agreeing with each other. But Carl Dunham decides to bring a woman on board anyway, and that woman is Favorite. In a city, she is viewing some onions that are for sale, and the salesman comes to the conclusion that she is trying to steal the fruit. How exactly did he come to that conclusion? I mean, all she is doing is touching the fruit. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in order to buy something like that, doesn't she need to touch it first? If she was trying to eat it, I would understand. But how the hell did he come to that conclusion? I really have no idea. But anyway, Carl talks her out of the mess and convinces her to go on board so they can start filming on sea. Now, Faye doesn't exactly accept it at first, but since she wants to do something Big with her life, she decides to do it. So she gets on board the ship and talks to the passengers while the boat is going. And one of the passengers she talks to is Jack Disco. Now he tells her that if it was up to him, she wouldn't be on board. Why exactly wouldn't he want her there? It is because she is a woman. Well, that's pretty sexist. But trust me, that sexism in that scene is incredibly minor and it doesn't really matter. Besides, this guy is still nice to her and has nice conversations with her. Later on, Carl starts shooting a film. And I have to admit, Favorite is a fucking fantastic actress. But anyway, Carl asks the navigator if he can find a special island that they are looking for. A special mysterious island that isn't really on any map. And they also talk about a mysterious beast called Kong. Well, that is interesting. And I am hoping that they find that fucking island since there is something special about it. Now, what's so special about that beast Kong? Well, we'll see soon enough. Later on, they arrive at the fucking island, and while they're there, they meet up with the natives, and the natives of that island don't speak English. Now, when a character of a movie is not speaking English, I like to have English subtitles. But you know what? It's not really needed in that case, because the captain manages to translate everything that they're saying. Now, I personally prefer subtitles over someone translating because at least that doesn't lengthen the movie but I don't have real issues with someone translating I just prefer subtitles, that's all But anyway, the natives want the crew to get the hell off the island and back home Now, Carl thinks that he can be friends with them but they refuse to be his friend and then he says that he will come back tomorrow to see if they want to be their friends. If they don't want to be your friends now, what the hell makes you think that they will be your friends the next day? I mean, really. But anyway, the crew gets back to the boat and Jack Driscoll has a nice conversation with Faye. And those two prove to be very nice friends. But... The people who live on that island prove to be a bunch of fucking savages because they kidnap Faye and tie her up. What a bunch of cunts. The reason they do that is because the crew refuse to sell that particular woman. Not only are those savages a bunch of cunts, they are also massively sexist. 
They apparently think that a woman is an object. I hate those fucking savages with a passion. Now the crew tries to rescue her, but they arrive too late. Because King Kong fucking kidnaps her and takes her away. But the crew won't stand for it. In fact, they go further to the island to look for Jay who has just been kidnapped. Now there is one thing that I gotta say about King Kong. I really have no idea what the hell King Kong wants with that woman. And it's never really explained. Why is that woman so special to King Kong? Ah well, King Kong is the villain of this movie anyway. So I don't really mind the lack of explanation that much. But it's still kinda bothersome. When the crew arrives at the jungle, they get attacked by a dinosaur who is apparently bulletproof. And I'm serious, they shoot that dinosaur so many times and even blow it up. But it refuses to fucking die. And that's something that applies to all the monsters on that fucking island. I will admit, the monsters do look fucking awesome. But it doesn't make much sense to me that it takes so long to kill them. Well, yeah, I get that they are huge monsters. But that first dinosaur they encountered should have died. With just a few bullets. I mean, those are powerful guns after all. Those aren't handguns. Those are powerful shotguns. They also meet up with some sea monster. And that monster refuses to die as well. They do manage to kill it, but it's still harder than necessary. The best explanation for that I can think of is the fact that those aren't just animals. They are also monsters on the island. Well, that is an explanation that makes sense. So yeah, the fact that bullets don't do much does kind of make sense to me. But anyway, back to King Kong and Faye. Now King Kong fights all the monsters that are trying to hurt her. And I must admit that the fights between King Kong and those monsters are fucking awesome. But King Kong isn't fooling me. He isn't defending that woman from those monsters because he genuinely cares about her. He does it because he wants to fucking keep her. And it's only made more apparent as the movie goes on. Because when the crew finally get that woman back, King Kong gets angry and wants to take her back. I still don't know the reason why King Kong wants her other than the fact that he is the villain. Can someone explain that to me? But anyway, they try to close the door that King Kong can pass. But the villagers are trying to stop the crew from locking that door. Or at least that's what it looks like. But King Kong manages to break through the door. And the strange part is, some of the villagers also attack King Kong. I find that incredibly odd because isn't King Kong a fucking god to them? Why would they attack a beast that they consider to be a god? I mean, it's clearly established earlier on in the movie that they do think of him as such. But anyway, they finally managed to capture King Kong. And we go back to the city where King Kong is used for entertainment. I probably should feel bad for King Kong for being used for entertainment. But considering the fact that King Kong tried to fucking kidnap that woman, I say that King Kong had it coming. Unfortunately though, steel chains can't keep King Kong for long. In fact, King Kong breaks them and looks for that woman again. Wait, why the hell is King Kong breaking the chains now? Shouldn't King Kong have done it when, I don't know, he was still being fucking sailed to the mainland? I mean, King Kong is a smart beast. So I don't know how the crew managed to get King Kong to the theater. But then again, maybe King Kong can't swim. Yeah, that's probably the explanation. Wow, a lot of questions that I have 
with this movie are questions that I answered myself. I believe this is the first spoiler movie review where that has happened. But yeah, King Kong kidnapped Fei Rei yet again and gets her to the top of the Empire State Building. I must say though, that I think it's fucking awesome how King Kong managed to break the chains made out of steel. That beast sure is fucking strong. Now people think that they are out of option, but then come up with an idea, they use planes to shoot King Kong. We are considering the fact that King Kong would have survived an explosion earlier on in the movie. I doubt the bullets from those planes will do much. But surprisingly they did do something. King Kong starts fucking bleeding because of those planes. And holy shit, the planes actually killed that beast. That is so fucking awesome. Now Jay walks down the Empire State Building and the movie ends with a line that doesn't make much sense. The planes didn't kill King Kong, Beauty did. What fucking beauty? What the hell is he even talking about? So anyway, that's where this movie ends. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Maybe it does look like I was nitpicking. Well, maybe I was nitpicking this movie a bit. But to be entirely honest, most of my nitpicks were and issues that made the movie overall bad. In fact, those things are pretty much expected since this is partly a fantasy movie. Well, it is a monster movie and a fucking awesome one at that. It's an absolutely fucking amazing movie that still holds up for today. The only real issue that I hear with this movie that I can't figure out if I think about the movie some more is why King Kong wanted that woman. I don't know, the movie doesn't explain it, but the movie does explain some of the other things that I found questionable. And you know what, I want to give this movie two thumbs up. Well that was a lot of fun, well guys that's all I'm gonna say, thank you for watching, have a great day.